There are many games, there's many sports in the world, but... Let's relax, relax. That's cheating! That's cheating! American football isn't a game. Ooh, 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 we're generals, and what is our profession? Ooh, ooh, if you don't want to play, give your jersey to someone that does! I'm sure you're probably wondering, why is Billy playing in a Ugandan football game while I coach from the sidelines? Well... It all started when I came across a tweet promoting a football game between Uganda and Kenya. Both teams played their hearts out, but it was Kenya that claimed the bragging rights thanks to a George Anuang touchdown. I wasn't even aware that people played football in Africa and was intrigued. So I reached out on Instagram to the Football Federation of Uganda to see if I could cover the game as a journal. You rarely get such people who really want to come in, support you, and come and document what you're doing and show it to the whole world. And seeing I work with a lot of elite football talent, I also offered to bring one of my co-workers to help coach. That's right, Billy Football, high school legend with a genius level football IQ. I mean, slinging it is slinging it. That's why I think Zach Wilson has the ceiling of Patrick Mahomes. The Federation was thrilled to have him on board. The only issue now was that Uganda didn't have nearly enough pads and helmets. Luckily, our sponsor, Pardon My Cheesesteak, offered to cover any costs needed to have the team properly equipped by game day. So the Federation put them in touch with His Print Ministries, a nonprofit organization with a history of supporting international sports programs. His Print has been blessed to share equipment around the world for the past 17 years. David had more than enough pads to donate. But with the game less than a month away, there wasn't enough time to ship it. But because Donnie and his crew were going, we were able to give 150 pounds of equipment for them to carry with them. And just like that, the boys were off. We're going to win. We're going to get them right. We're going to beat Kenya. How's the foot feeling? Fine. Feeling good, I'm mobile. Part of my cheesesteak boot. I probably should note that a couple days before our trip, Billy apparently fractured his ankle in a men's league basketball game. Oh! This trip was already going to be stressful, and coaching with a disabled guy definitely wasn't going to simplify things. Crippled man child coming through. But on the bright side, we both got to breeze through security in the wheelchair lane. My leg's pretty broken. It's very broken. To get to Uganda, we took the scenic route, which involved a 13-hour layover in Cairo, where we got emotional at the pyramids. Are you crying, Billy? No. <laughs> rode camels, sampled the local cuisine. This is a pizza hut? Are you shitting me? And drank a zillion beers. They're going down like water. They should go. You can check out my Cairo layover vlog for a full recap of that side quest. From Egypt, we flew directly to Uganda's capital, Kampala, where president of the Ugandan Football Federation, Stephen Okeng, met us at the airport to collect the football equipment. Billy, how yes. are you? Nice to see you, big guy. Yeah. <laughs> how do I get Ugandan citizenship so I can play for the team? I can play if you guys... Yeah, you have to play. <laughs> Our first practice wasn't for another day, so in the meantime, decided to go for a jungle trek to get up close and personal with Uganda's most prized national treasure, gorillas. We just got eyes on a silverback. He's gonna be our starting defensive tackle. Despite the fact I got attacked by wasps. Oh, I'm being attacked. Ah. Ah. You get stung, Donnie? Yeah, like 20 times. It was truly a magical experience. Check out my full gorilla vlog if you wanna see more of that. With the touristy stuff out of the way, we can now focus all of our attention on one goal, beating Kenya. So we hurried back to the capital to rest up for our first practice. Come inside, have a seat. Sure. As we wait for the team. Okay. Hello, how are you? We're happy to have you guys. Oh, nice. We're happy to be here. What position do you play? Uh, well, I'm too old. So okay, I'll, yes. I'll be the equipment manager. It's nice to meet you. Hey. Nice to meet you too. You guys ready to play some football? Ready. Hell yeah. It's nice to meet you, man. We're nice gonna to beat you. Kenya. Is the Kenyan team very big? Well, they are big, but yeah. not so big. Okay. But maybe they have more experience than we do. I want to throw the ball around. I want to see how you guys catch. If you can catch, you're going to score a touchdown. We're, dude, we're golden, baby. Do you know how to do a play fake? Run 10 yards and stop. And then you give him the ball. Down. Play fake. Go. Give it to him. Boom! That's a touchdown. If that we can do that, Kenny won't know shit. That's good. That's very good. No one will see him. 
Playing football is awesome, but when you can't play football anymore, the best thing I've ever done was teach these guys. Oh, I'm excited. You are fast. I want to line them up uh, and maybe run some of your pass plays just to like, get the reps in, to get the chemistry, as they say. We were eager to get practice underway, but first, our presence was required at a nationally televised press conference. The 2023 American Football Africa Zone Series will be the second major competitive and full contact event to be hosted by the American Football Federation of Uganda. We, we are very ready for the game this year and uh, the Kenyan team, they should be ready. With me here, with some of our, our partners for, for the game this year, on my right is a Dawn from uh, Pardon My Cheese Stick and uh, I also have uh, coach Billy. With the help of American coach player William Kota, the Ugandan side is promising a much improved event in terms of team performance and execution. Uh, I'd just like to say I'm very impressed and surprised on how good of talent I've already seen from the Ugandan team. American football isn't a game. It's really a lifestyle and a union of teamwork, uh, intelligence, execution, discipline and strategy that is unlike anything else on this planet. We grow up looking up to players like Tom Brady and Blake Bortles, not just for what they do on the field, but what they have accomplished off the field, because I, I really think it's a character building sport. I know we're in a country called Uganda, but football, it's not about you, 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 it's about, you. It's about we. And we, Uganda, beat Kenya. Our press conference performance had shown that we could talk the talk. Kenya is in trouble. I guarantee it. But now, it was time to prove that we could walk the walk in practice. Hey, coach. How are we doing? This is looking good. Yeah, we're trying to master some offensive drills. You know how you prevent that from happening? Step towards the target where he's going, and then point with your shoulder, and then follow through. Go. Nice! Right on the target. I'm gonna try to play some defense. Oh! Hut. Hut. Him. Here's a tip. You wanna drive with your feet and drive through. Keep those feet moving, because then you can get more leverage. You wanna get under their pads. And if you hit them right, then drive them right into the ground. So let's run it again and let's see how we do. Hut. Drive those feet. Good. He's gonna be a problem. You are a beast, my friend. Let's run again. Also, strap up. This is how you get knocked out. <laughs> Drive those feet. Yeah. Yeah. See. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Way to drive your feet, my friend. You see that? You beat him. I think we can surprise Kenya with their tenacity. American football is funny because none of us have been able to play for our country. And when you play for your country, there's a certain passion and intensity. And I'm very jealous that you guys get to play for your country and you know attack them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out there and we're gonna come with intensity. We're gonna hit hard. We're gonna punch them in the mouth so fast that they're not gonna remember the last time they were here. Yeah. Let's get back to it, yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Let's yeah. get it. Hut. Yeah! Yeah! Beast! He's a beast! This is intensity. This is what we need to win. Well, now you know how Billy and I ended up in Uganda coaching football. We go hard. But how did these Ugandan kids end up playing football in the first place? When you watch ESPN, they always show games on TV. So that's why I picked up interest and I was glad that I had other people in the country thinking the same way. I love contact games because I played lacrosse before. So I stood and watched them play and it truly piqued my interest. The sport got so interesting to me that I had to drop all the other activities and you know concentrate, concentrate on the sport. My brother Ken Goss, we call him Goss, team captain and also Kun. Those people had some good experience with this game. They knew really so much about it. They called me to the game and guess what? When I came, I experienced a very beautiful game. I love the game. Right now, I'm doing nothing. The only sport I'm playing right now, it's American football. And what exactly do they love so much about the game? American football is an inclusive sport. The short guys, the tall guys, the fat guys, the slim guys, the slow, the fast, everyone has a position to comfortably play. I feel great when I make a tackle. I just love the energy, love the aggressiveness of the game. 
throwing because I, I throw hard. I'm mostly here, yeah, the concert. Touchdown celebration. So positive. <laughs> At the same time, I also love the brotherhood because it's the, the brotherhood in Venice puts it. It's very hard to get that elsewhere. Putting on the burners, like Tariq does, showing the peace sign, um, actually the winning. And if we wanted to do some winning while in Africa, it was time to get down to business. The skills they have, yeah. what we need to practice is the plays. Do you, have you guys been running plays yet? Yeah. Let me see one of your plays. Can, can we line up the whole? Uh, this, is, this is Coach Martin. Hi. How are you doing? It's got a uh, uh, playbook. Let me, can I can, see the playbook? Look at it. And also, yeah. you can advise. As of now, uh -huh. uh, I, I have failed to download the real playbook, uh, the NFL playbook, but I have something in mind here. When the coach Googled NFL playbooks, we knew we'd have our work cut out for us. When there was no playbook, I, I had this nightmare where I was just like, I have to create a whole offense and defense from scratch. I, I had a plan just like, just in case. That was the scenario. We don't need many plays. Sure. We need three running plays that we go either side, and we need to run them very well, mm. and then a couple pass plays, just so everyone, because it's a very mental game, we don't want to confuse them. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys! Hello! All right, well, first thing, I really like what I see. You guys are playing with heart, tenacity. That is hard to teach. You can't teach that. You're just born with that, and all of you have it. The most important thing in American football is preparation. Everybody here has one specific job to do. On every and You play. only win games when everyone out here does his job. So what we're now going to do is work on the plays because you know if one of your coaches is in the game and he says we're running dive right, we got to know what to do and execute. So I think should we get the starting 11 out? We're just going to work on strategy. Whichever side the tight end is on is the strong side. So we're calling the play strong left, dive left. That is a run play. Down, set, hike. So then you're gonna get the ball. You're gonna run right off his left ass. And he's gonna, you're gonna push your man. You're gonna, you're gonna push, push him right. You're, you're gonna look at that Kenyan motherfucker and you're gonna run him the fuck over. You think Billy has been a helpful coach? Oh, hell yeah. This play, is called sweep. Should we call it stretch? Yeah, I like stretch. that. Where well, this is stretch right. Your first step is gonna to wanna to be outside because then you're gonna to wanna to hook me in. So you're gonna hook the guy, you're going to hit him and you gotta block him. You gotta throw him out the fucking club. You're a bouncer in the club, you gotta get him out the fucking club. So you're gonna run outside and then you're going to the fucking end zone. Call the huddle and let's try to run this play. If you guys block well, then we can do pass plays. Yeah, Very yeah, good, yeah. great blocking. Hell yeah, that's a touchdown, baby. This is great stuff. Let's clap it up. Come on, let's go. I was getting a little worried about Billy yesterday when he proceeded to drink like 12 beers on the drive home. I love that you can drink your gun and beer in the car found out that if you turn in your empty beer bottles, you get new beers for half the price. We're here to hand in empties. Oh, thank you, you're welcome. Do you have cold beers? And yeah, we made a lot of pit stops. <laughs> All right, we're going for round two. And he was just trading in six bottles, getting six new bottles. And yeah, I was like, Billy, we got a game to win. Maybe mixing a water. But I gotta say, the moment we showed up on the field, he's been coaching his cock off. And I'm proud of him. Some people can't, can't drink like Billy. You drink and still be stable on, on, on your job. I think that's, that's huge. We're gonna call this play Kampala. So Kampala is everyone runs a fly. If he's got one-on-one -on -one coverage and he's got a sa no safety overhead, then you're throwing that all day. Oh. Good effort. You wanna throw that ball with a little more air under it. Do you mind if I run the play? Just to show you how it should be done. Here we go. Strong left Kampala. Strong left Kampala. Ready? Chinras! Okanas! Set, hut! Did I throw it to the wrong guy? You gotta intercept it. Hello! Is that the ball you use? 
Can we oh. cut that interception? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can cut that. Run it again. Strong left Kampala. And run! Run! Come on! That's a touchdown! That, if you catch that, that's a touchdown. Catch with your hands, not your chest. We need to look into adhesive spray. It's illegal in the NFL. It's not illegal here. Great work, guys. Water up. Hydrate. What's in the jug? Tequila. <laughs> you guys drink tequila at halftime? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Guys, if we beat Kenya, we're all going to go out and drink a lot of tequila. Oh. oh. Yeah. Tequila bottles on me if we beat Kenya. Can we bring the wide receiver, all the wide receivers quickly? Gibbs, receivers! All right, so these are the two new pass plays. So we all know Kampala, right? We're now putting in a windy. 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 And then this last one is called Entebbe. The plays I chose were simple plays, dive left, dive right, stretch left, stretch right, and then just whatever passing play. That was just everyone's running the same route. That were the only things I put in. That was a great read, great thought. But remember what I told you, you gotta throw it a little softer. Run it again. Good. What's a word in Ugandan that means like again, that you all know? Nera, nera. Nera, nera. If you hear him yelling Nera, you're running the exact same play, no huddle, line up very fast. The defenses, they're like, what the fuck's going on? They're not huddling? Why are they going so fast? And then that's when we get a big gain off them. Let's run, Nera, Nera, Nera! Nera, Nera! Ready, Nera, go! Let's go! George, you gotta throw that faster, man. Let me show you. Down! Is that up? But that fast. I just sort of blacked out and just designed an offense. <laughs> but no offense is complete without a tush push. Or as we would call it, we Ganda. This is what we're gonna do. You get behind here. You're gonna be right behind him. This play is what the Philadelphia Eagles run all the time. We would run this if we, yeah. if we just need yeah. like you, three yards. Four. Two yards. You guys switch. You go right here. He's gonna snap the ball to him. You're gonna be right behind him. You grab him and just push him forward. This is all about teamwork, the collective group of strength of all of you, because you're all just concentrating on this one guy. And one man cannot take all the force of all of you. All right, so let's just, let's just practice this snap. So, up. Good, good, perfect. Oh. No one can stop that. If, not, if I can lift him and throw him. Yes, wow, yes, okay. yes. Just make sure he's going forward. Yeah, I like that shit. Nira, 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 nira. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that is what we need. We should start doing the tush push when we need like 20 yards. Dude, if it works. <laughs> Imagine that. You're just it's running just a 20-yard tush push. All right, uh, guys, uh, I think we need to introduce the coach. Yeah, take a knee, boys. I'd like to first of all thank you for showing up today and showing up every time there's a cause. All right, so uh, coach, any last words to the team? Hi there, guys. Uh, awesome day today. Uh, way to work, way to learn. Uh, I didn't know what it would be like coming here and helping you guys coach, but I'm so glad that you guys are here because this is a way better situation than I could have hoped for. You guys listened, you guys knew. I mean, we, have a, we just installed a whole offense and we have so much more to do before the big game on Sunday. Uh, I love your intensity, I love your passion. Also, this is, my, uh, this is Coach Donnie. Donnie, you can call me Wonton Don. In the US, you have a lot of people who play in high school and college while they're in school, and then you have people who play in the NFL and they're playing for a lot of money. You guys are playing for the love of the game and you're playing for national pride. So, I appreciate you guys showing up. And we, Ganda, beat the shit out of Kenya. <laughs> if we show half the intensity we did today when we play Kenya, we are going to beat Kenya back to Kenya. We're going to send them right back to Kenya. They are, they are not going to want to play us. One, two, three. We got to beat Kenya!
Let's go! I need a, I need a goddamn beer. <laughs> After practice, we recovered from the African sun with some cold suds. I've come very close to East Trip a couple times on this trip, and then I just I drink a club, feel immediately better. Then got to bed early, as the next morning, our press tour rolled on. 6.30 in the morning, and we're on our way to a TV spot. We're already in the papers, now we're gonna be on TV. I wanna welcome two gentlemen, Coach Danny and Coach Billy. Hey, how are you? Thank you for having us. How does the coaching go? Uh, do you have uh, the right training facility where the team coaches in? And what kind of training do they have to go through to prepare for such big games? So the Ugandan team when we arrived was in very great shape. That wasn't the problem. What we had to focus on when we came was strategy and the mental parts of the game. Yeah, when you play football, your brain is the most important muscle. And I think a beautiful thing about the sport is it's a lot like war, but it's not war that you fight with weapons or hate. It's war that you fight with love of the game and mental toughness. If there is people that are watching and would love to join American football, be part of your team, is there a recruitment process? If you are a very large man, please join <laughs> Ugandan football. And if you want to watch American football, you're curious, please come to Legends Sporting Ground on Sunday at 3.30 p.m. to watch the game. We have these guys running on all cylinders. This, yes. th we have a team that can compete with American teams. Thank you so much, Coach Billy and Coach Johnny, for joining us this morning on Premier Sport. All the best. We'll definitely be there this Sunday, me and Jonah. Okay, so Billy and I just crushed the TV interview. But when we walked in, they first brought us to the politics room, and they were like, you guys are here for the Israel-Palestine segment. <laughs> and um, Stephen corrected them very fast, but I, I feel like we probably would have crushed that. <laughs> if we had gotten into that interview and they were like, just started asking, so we're just like, wait a second. But uh, yeah, probably for the best, we got that sorted out. Okay, day two of practice. I just gotta say, I asked Billy numerous times, do we get red visors or black visors? And he's like, we gotta go red, it's in the Ugandan flag. Well, black is also in the Ugandan flag, and if we had black visors, I wouldn't look like a fucking McDonald's employee. Coach Donnie is not a McDonald's worker, he is a coach. Shut up, part of my cheesesteak though. Great sandwiches. Billy, yeah. for the love of God, could you put on some sunblock? I hate sunblock. He's not gonna he's not gonna make it to the game on Sunday. He's gonna have heat stroke. There's no sun right now. There is sun. This field has pretty much quicksand. It's got termite holes. It's got hawks. And then there's some type of giant stork-like bird over there with a six-foot wingspan. Holy, is that a shoebill crane? Those are big ass birds. These dudes gonna come in and fucking snipe the ball? Because I think they could fit a ball in that gullet of theirs. Bring it up even if you're not ready. I just wanted to get you guys to hear. So yesterday we had a great practice. We put in the whole offense and started with a little defense, but today we are gonna concentrate all on defense. We're now gonna learn how to tackle the right way. And one of the most important things when tackling is keeping your head up. Another important thing with tackling is get low. The low man always wins in football. Donnie and I are gonna do a demonstration right now. So you line him up, you step, split his body with your foot, you step again, and then you lock. We're gonna do some drills. I want everyone to grab a partner. Slow motion, don't try to kill the guy. I know you're anxious, save it for Kenya. The reason we're not doing too much live action hitting is because when you see Kenya, you're gonna be so hungry for it that you're gonna hit him hard. Break down, ready, go. Now second step, you bring your guns back and then boom. It's like an old Western. You have your guns back, boom. <laughs> ready, go. Yeah, here you go. Very good. Everyone watch Coach Donnie. The Kenyans don't know what's going to hit them. The Kenyans are not football players. Now you guys are football players. Ready? Go! A lot of this game is playing through pain. I currently have a broken ankle. I'm coaching through pain. What you must do with that is number one, play through the pain, and number two, inflict the pain on the Kenyans. You excited? 
Yeah, I'm going to fuck them up. Oh, let's go. I want everyone over here. Everyone over here now. All right, time to run through defensive formations. I don't know how much help I'm going to be here, but we'll see. What type of defense should we run? Well, as the defensive coordinator, zone? <laughs> 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 no, we, we should probably run a 4-4. Four, four. Um, I like a 4-4. Four, four. Let me get an offensive line. Line up just dummies. So this is what's going to happen. You are always going to line up on either side, depending on where the tight end is. You're all the way outside, and you're rushing off the edge. You don't let anybody run outside of you. Donnie will coach you up on that. And you want to plug which hole? Billy was befuddled. Fuck. The thing about Billy, he's a very confident offensive coordinator. Not a very confident defensive coordinator. I don't really think he knows what he's doing right now. Where are you lined up? Linebacker. You're a linebacker? I thought he was the Wait. One, two, three. Wait a second. I, no, you're the linebacker. So he's just trying to work through it right now. You're playing overhead. Fuck. Billy's having a panic attack. I know. You know. Trying to create an offense and a defense in three days is like a heavy burden. I wish I could help more. I can be a defensive end coach all day, but when I played football, didn't pay a lot of attention to the other positions. Run the stretch. Stretch right. Set. Hut. You want to you wanna dive at his legs. No I'm man the biggest the man on the field. the only one who chased the ball down. Why are you standing there? Why aren't you chasing the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's a pass, it's a pass. Stay on the outside. We were struggling to find the right personnel for our defense, but then noticed a bunch of big athletic looking dudes not even practicing with the team. Who are those guys? Why aren't they over here? Can they hit? They look like they can tackle. 61 looks like a beast. He's a beast. Right. He's a good landman. Thank God he's here for defense. But turned out they were in hot water with the coaching staff. You know football is about a game of discipline, yeah? Oh, game undisciplined? They need punishment? Yeah, so yeah. Because he said he didn't train. Today he came in late and he's taking his time to come to the to join the team. Do you want me to dress them down and yell at them? <laughs> they They think they're the best players? Yeah. I need to strike the fear of a coach in them mm -hmm. so that they start sure. acting right. We learned later the situation was a little more complex than just being late to practice. But with the game only a few days away, we needed all hands on deck. The players who are undisciplined, we need them to fill in because we need the best guys out there to learn the defense. I'll yell at them if they act up. And thankfully, we're able to convince the Federation to let them get in the mix. Yeah, give me the best 11, even if they're misbehaved. I'm hearing from the Ugandan coach, they have a bit of an ego. I'm worried about um, a clash of egos when they meet Billy. So. Pretend that each of these cones is an offensive lineman. I want you on the outside. Defensive end. We're gonna have 61 playing defensive end now. I am pumped about that. I mean, I think he just has the raw talent to fucking dominate. So when you're playing defensive end, there's three things that they could do. They could be running it inside, in which case you need to collapse in and tackle the running back. They could be running it outside, which may, means you have to contain. You can't let him get outside of you. If it's a pass, that's when the real fun stuff happens. That's when you just try to destroy the quarterback. Yeah. There's no better feeling in football than tackling the quarterback. Set, hut, go. Great! That is how you maintain contain. Set, hut. So the tight end might hit him a little, but then go out for a pass. I want you covering the tight end. Hut. Great defense over there. With our best players on the field, shit was starting to click. Billy might have some D in him after all. Pause. Coach Billy has been tremendous, he has been wonderful. Let me just say, he's one of the best coaches that I've ever come to Uganda. The Africa Zone Series 24 means a lot to us right now. And I think that with Coach Billy and Coach Donny, we can see a lot of progress. Billy was a little unsure of himself when uh, we first started going through this defensive formation. Now I think everybody's getting the hang of it. And 61's gonna be a problem at the end. Very good, very good, you boys, very good. He's catching on fast. This guy has it down. I don't think I can teach him much more. It's been really nice. I've enjoyed the time with you and I've really learned so much more with this guy. Hush P, Steve. Big Steve. Yeah. You? Boy. Boy. Oh boy. 
oh boy. That's what the Kenyan team is gonna be saying when you show up. They're gonna be gonna go, oh boy. We didn't sign up for this. We're about to get destroyed. Billy and Coach Donny could actually help to position Uganda to become one of the biggest football countries in Africa. Now we're gonna focus on run defense for the rest of practice. Billy's gonna run them all day today. These kids wanna go home, but it's our last practice. So he said, nope, no one's going home. But hey, I, I guess we can play good coach, bad coach. Or he's the bad coach, I'm the good coach. He's not gonna be like, yeah, if you guys wanna go home, it's fine. He's gonna be like, no, 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 we're staying till the sun goes down. We're practicing till the sun goes down, sorry. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> fine. Because we all, this is our last practice, correct? So we're practicing till the sun goes down. I'm sorry, guys. But we need to beat Kenya. We're not gonna beat Kenya by quitting at two o'clock. We gotta practice until we've done everything we can. And there was still plenty to work on, such as goal line D. This is a defense where you let your nuts hang. What's a good name? What is like something scary and strong? I want to call it Co is no, Cody. No, no, Cody. No, 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 don't, like, no, Cody? No, don't call it that. Which thanks to me was not called Coney. We should call this play Vibranium, the material in Black Panther that couldn't be broken. Vibranium. Is that what? Don't let them get that many yards. And special teams. Now we are gonna learn field goal. Very good. We were pleasantly surprised to learn that our kicker was filthy. This guy hasn't fucking missed. Very good. That's good. Dude, you just hit everything. This is very good. The Kenyan team's gonna be running as fast as possible at you. Don't get scared. They're weak as shit. The reason they call you Hush P it's because the pussies get really quiet after you lay them on the floor. <laughs> That's right. Ah, yeah. It's pretty simple. Just don't let anyone get outside of you and destroy the guy with the ball. All right, charge down, charge down, fast, fast, fast. Kill him. Charge up. Pursue, pursue. While we still had plenty of work to do, we only had the field rented for so long and was told by the Ugandan coaches it was time to wrap it up. Billy wanted to keep these kids here until sundown, but uh, the Ugandan coach just said it's time to end practice. He's gonna be so pissed. Hey, Billy, they're calling practice. We gotta practice tomorrow. I'm gonna talk to the management. This was supposed to be our last practice, but Billy wants to bring them back tomorrow. That would probably be the smart thing to do, but I'm trying to go hippo mode in the Nile. Two hours away, you can just go tubing down the Nile. That sounds incredible. And I think we can go tubing down the Nile and still beat Kenya. But Billy is like just talking to the president of American football in Uganda right now, demanding an extra practice. We can practice tomorrow 10 to one on this field. Tomorrow this field is busy. No, no, no I, I, I booked it. You, you, you talked to I talked to Amanda, yeah. We, they need a practice tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know like, I dude, do you need to put on sunscreen. To You're gonna die. You're not even gonna be like, a human being by the I, time. Half day tomorrow is just cool. You know? half, half day tomorrow. But that was supposed to be our last day. But uh, there's a special request. Yeah? We are going to practice, but it will not be a hard practice. It will be all mental. So I know today we did a lot of work. And I'm proud of you guys. These past two days, we did a lot of work. And I can tell you guys really want to hit and you really want to tackle. And this happens tomorrow. No, 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 no. Sunday you can hit and when you hit on Sunday you're going to hit so hard. It's going to feel so good. It's going to be, it's going to be a relief. We don't want you to blow your load before Sunday. Yes. Yeah. Semen retention. Sunday tequila. Yes, the deal is still in place. If we beat Kenya, I'm buying balls of tequila for the whole team. I should have realized some of our players were Muslim and thus weren't too thrilled with the promise of free tequila. If you don't drink tequila, I will buy you whatever type of fruit juice you want or maybe some candy, maybe some candy. Yeah. Hey, virgin pina coladas for the whole team if you don't drink. Also, to ensure we win, in the beginning of the game, I will be playing with you. Yeah. Yeah. I will go out for you with you guys and hopefully we score a bunch of touchdowns. George and I will mix in, then George will finish the game and we will beat Kenya handedly. Yeah. Arriving in Uganda, I didn't think I was gonna play. I just thought I was gonna coach. But then Steven started to say, hey, like if your ankle's feeling okay, you should really play. And not only from Steven, 
from the sports minister when we met with him was like, you should really play for Uganda. Like, you're our guest here. I was like, screw it. How am I gonna let this bum ankle prevent me from like, you know, helping out the Ugandan American football team? And once I told the guys, they were pumped. Thank you guys for having hey, me. Hey, don't just him. <laughs> him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just need cleats and pads. I'm getting a sack. One, two, three, Jingles! I just found out I'm playing in the game. I haven't played it down since I won a Chinese Super Bowl in 2018. And I was benched in that Super Bowl for absolutely whiffing on a tackle. But on Sunday, redemption is spelled beat Kenya! I'm gonna pull a bicep if I keep doing this. Let's do that tire. Later that night, we went out to enjoy Ugandan nightlife, but with only one practice left, we could only think of one thing, beating Kenya. Would we have the team ready to go by game day? Would I have a chance to go hippo mode in the Nile? Find out next week on Last Chance Uganda. Now it's Tony on your own. No bass boss, but it's Tony on your own. Mado, Tony on your own. No bass boss, but it's Tony on your own. Say, Africa, now it's Tony on your own. No bass boss, but it's Tony on your own. Mado, Tony on your own. No bass boss, but it's Tony on your own.